All right, so in this video, we're going to discuss the random experiment tossing a coin. So we'll discuss three cases. Number one, if I toss a coin once, so if I toss a coin once, what is the set of possible outcomes or the sample space? So if I toss a coin once, my sample space is very simple. I can either get a head or a tail. Isn't it very simple? Now, if I toss the coin twice, then what is going to happen? I can have now four possibilities. I can have head and head. There's a head in both the cases. I can have head tail. I can have tail head. And finally, I can have tail tail. Isn't it? Now, what's it, what is the third case? The third case is, of course, if I toss the coin thrice, any bar. So now, my possible outcomes can be head head, 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 tail, head, 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 tail, and then head, tail, tail. Okay. So, what I am doing? I am keeping this H fix. But in the first coin, there can be tail also, right? Now, I will replace this by tail. So, now it will be tail, head, head, tail, tail, head tail, head, tail and finally, tail, tail, tail. Okay. So, these eight are the possible outcomes if a coin is tossed thrice. So, once we have discussed, twice I have discussed and thrice, right. So, in the next video, we shall be discussing another random experiment that is throwing a dice.